my name is Rosita. I am one of the Japanese teachers here on Take Lessons. So today's topic is actually going to be a little bit more focused on the culture of Japan. And we're going to talk about a festival, which is one of my favorite festivals called Tanabata, which is known as the Star Festival. Tanabata means evening of the 7th and is celebrated on July 7th each year. Year. Now, this is one of my favorite lessons because it's romantic in a way, what we do for love. And also, it's five days before my birthday. <laughs> so, according to the legend, this is the one day a year that Orihime, meaning the weeding princess, and Hikoboshi, meaning the cow herder, can spend together. See, Orihime's father, who was a powerful god, separated the deeply in love couple. Now, moved by his daughter's tears, he ultimately granted them one day a year together. Now, here's a question for you guys before we go on. Do you know the answer to this question? Why were Orihime and Hikoboshi separated? If you guys don't know, well, you'll find out in a bit later, so just keep on listening. First, let's learn how this holiday is celebrated. First, let's learn how this holiday is celebrated. For the Star Festival, we put up many sazakazari, meaning hanging decorations. Type. The many types of hanging decorations symbolizes different things. Purses symbolizes good wealth or good business. Cranes represents long lives. Uh, streamers representing Orihime's weaving of beautiful cloth. And fishing nets representing a good catch. You can find these decorations all over during the festival. Now, Tanabata festivals are held in many regions of Japan. The most famous will be Sendai Tanabata Matsuri, meaning the Sendai Tanabata Festival. At these festivals, people gather on the main street where there are decorations, food stalls, and some and entertainment, including music and dancing. Now, common food stalls del delicacies include takoyaki, which is so good, and the yaki soba, which is also really good. And of course, those things sound perfect with a nice cold beer. Now, a popular custom on or around the festival is for people to write their personal wishes on a piece of paper and then hang the paper on a bamboo tree. Common wishes are for Orihime and Hikoshi to be together, for one's family to stay healthy and to become rich. So now it's a time to answer that question from before. Why were they separated? Well, it's because they stopped working. After the two were married, they enjoyed their married life so much that they no longer worked, which infuriated Orihime's father. And that's why he separated them. But after Orihime's father saw the tears and saw her very sad, he took pity and allowed them to meet once a year. Now, they, now the belief is they worked so hard all year while looking forward to their only day together. Well, listeners, hopefully you guys enjoyed this lesson. How was this lesson? Did you learn something new? If you did, please let me know. If you guys are seeing this on my Take Lessons website, send me a message and tell me what you've learned. If you guys are watching this here on YouTube, Write, write down in the comments below what you have learned. Also, if you participated in a Tanabata, what did you write as your wish? All right, guys if, you have guys, if you have any questions or concerns, please do not hesitate to ask. Again, my name is Rosita. Please check out my website. Um, the link is right below. And hopefully, I will talk to you guys soon. Take care. Mata ne!